Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from ExitAutomation.com. This is part 18 of our Coded UI video series. So in this part, we're going to start creating the custom method which we discussed in part 17. And we're going to take it to the next level by creating even more advanced generic method so that you can use that method for any types of control. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 17 because this part is going to be a complete continuation of part 17. So custom control methods. So in this part, we are going to remove some of the movable parts which we discussed in part 17. So in part 17, we discussed some of the moving parts like parent controls, control types, property types, property values. But the control types and the property types can be made even more generic using generics in C Sharp. So if you're not familiar with the generics in C Sharp, I would request you to watch some of the videos and tutorials and also some of the articles which is available in Google. You just try to Google that and search for generics in C Sharp and you can just learn those concepts before watching this video because this video is going to fully deal with generics in C Sharp. So let's start working with it and see how our code transform from the previous part code. So I'm going to flip to Visual Studio right now. So this is the same code which we discussed in part 17. So you can see we have created a custom method for entering a text using enter text method. And also we performed a click operation using click button. But here we are passing the control types using this new HTML edit or new HTML window by creating by calling this constructor for this control. And also we are passing the property name and the value for the property in this fashion. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to write even more generic controls for these custom controls so that it can be more strongly typed at the same time it use some of the standard C sharp concepts so that anybody even a developer can understand your code more easily since you follow some of the coding standard in that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start work creating this enter text method in a different format right now. So just see this code what we have written already in part 17. So I'm going to transform this code a little bit and you'll understand how this code looks like after the transformation. Right. So just take this code. Just understand this code before we start writing that code. Right. So just watch part 17 for that. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to write a generic enter text method right now. So public void enter text. But here I'm going to use this greater than and less than symbol to specify the generic type. So the T is the notation in generics as you already know. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the property type again the same concept which we use right here right and also the property value should be string so string property value and then string text so these things will never change so let this be and here we need to specify what type t is going to be I'm specifying this as the T should be of type HTML control. So I'm restricting it using the where condition. Right. So there is a where keyword which which will tell that, OK, this type T should be of type HTML control. We know that all the controls has the base class of HTML control and the base class of HTML control is again UI test control. And the next thing is we need to identify the control and also we need to pass the parent for this control. So we know that all the controls are going to be of type HTML control. So I'm going to create the instance for the HTML control and let's call this as generic control. So this is the variable for HTML control. And then I'm going to use something called as activator dot create instance right so this is going to be 
a method which is available in C sharp which is used for dynamically activating an instance during runtime right and here I'm going to pass the type of so the type of nothing but the type T and then we need to somehow pass the constructor there which is nothing but new of object it's an array and then I'm going to pass the parent window remember we need to pass the parent window as the value for the constructor right so I'm just passing that as well and then we should convert that to type T right so this will create me a generic type whichever we're passing right here all right and then once the control is identified, our next quest is to check what property type we are passing. So again, it's going to be the same code. Same code. I'm just we can also copy paste this code if you want. Right? So if type is called the property.name, then the generic control dot search properties of HTML control dot property names dot name is equal to the property value. You can just pass it right here. That's it. Similarly, if you think that there is one more property, so you can also pass it as else. So you can you can also short and shorten this code like this. So if else if type is equal to property type dot ID then you can just copy this line of code and paste it right here that's it so once this whole thing is identified the next thing is to type in the UI Right, so for that I'm going to use keyboard.send keys of generic controls, comma the text. That's it. So you can see or you can compare this lines of code with this guy. Right? This is so big code. Again, this is very small. And it is very neat and strongly typed because you have also checked for control types. Because here you can pass since it's an object type. We can pass any kind of object here. It can, you can pass like a new HTML edit. Instead of new HTML edit, you can also pass new win edit. Right? You're not restricting here because it's object type. You're, you're accepting the enter text as object type here. So it can be of any type. In C sharp, the object is the base class for all the types. So this cannot work as a strongly typed stuff. So that's why we're writing this more generic enter text. Again, if you want to learn about this generics and other stuff, just go to Google and learn about C Sharp or go to MSDN and learn about C Sharp's generics so that you can understand what I'm really talking about all these things in this video series. Great. And then let's call this code. So what I'm going to do is instead of this code, I'm going to call the generic code so enter text do you see there is a one more method which is greater and it has this greater than less than symbol it is again generics so here I'm going to pass the control type which is nothing but the HTML edit right and then the property type so the property type dot it is again name we know that and what is the property value? It's username. Great. And what is the text which I'm going to trying to type there? It is nothing but our Karthik. All right. Great. So let's run this and see how things works. So I'm going to just run this. So I'm going to leave this code as of now as it is. So let's try to run and see if really this thing works or not. So I'm going to just right click this and hit run sector test. So this should open me the browser and should type the name Karthik in there. Right, it opened and should type the name Karthik there. Oh, beautiful. 
So did you see that? It's typing the name Karthik in the name text box and the initial is typing as expected, which is great. So this is how you can write a more generic methods for each and every controls. So you can replace the same with your click and also you can replace the same method with this method. Great. So that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.